How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, this brother here is Mark Peoples. And Lisa Cabrera was the first that I heard that did this story earlier this week. I think it was, well, okay, wait a minute. Today is Monday. Last week, or in the weekend, she did this story, um, basically gardening while black and it was deep listening to it i listened to it a couple of times i was like wow they don't cease to amaze me and so um you know i wasn't really you know it's it's so many videos that we put up you know um i didn't think i was gonna do a video on it and um i was on black junction and um i got a little bit more information and so then I started digging like I always do. Oh, yeah, I started digging and um, I got to speak on this, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put some fire on it like I always do, my royal family. So um, let's get into this, my royal family. I mean, and I, 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 it's, this is not funny to me. This is not funny. And I am in agreement whoever came up with it that these different names that they are dubbing um, these racist white folks um, just messing with us. Outright blatant to the core racism. So I know a lot of people already know what's going down and some people may not. So we'll get you abreast. Um, I got two videos to show the royal family. How you can grow your business today. Detroit resident Mark Peoples is now free to tend to his garden without the interference of three racist neighbors. Peoples was a victim of racial profiling and harassment because he made three women uncomfortable while gardening in his eight-mile neighborhood. According to the Metro Times, the women routinely called the police on the man for urban farming. He's now free to garden after a judge tossed out the case against him last Tuesday, October 16th. The women at first pretended to support People's Community Garden Project by donating soil, but he soon discovered their true intentions. One of the women, Deborah Nash, made a slew of allegations against him. She claimed he was part of a gang because she saw trees painted red, black, and green. She also blamed him for vandalizing local houses in the area and accused the farmer of threatening her with a gun. In other calls to Detroit police, he was accused of being a pedophile, when a group of children began working on the farming project and the women said he was involved in a drive-by shooting. Authorities were called to the garden in March in response to a call where Nash claimed Peebles had a gun. Body cam footage obtained by the Metro Times from the interaction refuted her claims. Ain't no law against raking leaves, the officer said. The guy didn't have anything on him and wasn't wanted for anything. They went to the end of the deal with this BS, too. Accusations of this nature continued to pile up leading to the Detroit Police Department and Wayne County Prosecutor's Office bringing three counts of stalking against Peoples. They strictly thought their so-called white privilege was going to work this time, and it didn't, said Peoples. ABC Action News reports 36th District Court Judge E. Lindsey Bryant ruled the allegations against Peoples were false. The women made false police reports to keep Peoples out of the neighborhood. I very much believed that the only reason they called the police on Mr. Peoples being in their neighborhood was because of his race, said Judge Bryant. It was clearly, in my opinion, that these ladies had engaged in not only harassment of Mr. Peoples, but illegal conduct toward Mr. Peoples. Peoples' attorney, Robert Burton Harris, knew this was just one more instance of white people calling the police on black people for doing mundane things. Recent incidents involved a Somalian activist and her family being harassed and denied service for speaking their native language. Now. The two are filing a defamation lawsuit against the three women, according to ABC Action News. That Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to share this video and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe <clears throat> to the Your Black World YouTube channel and visit the Black... Excuse me for that, my royal family. Excuse What's Kasasa? It's like never getting surprised oh. by an ATM fee. Bank local. Ain't that ironic? Something pop up like that? Excuse me. Y'all know I'm not going to edit shit. So, let's go over here for a second. So anyway, 
I had heard this stuff and I'm learning even more. They really put this brother through it. They really, really did. And I thought many things when I listened to Lisa's video and then when I did my own research, it just pissed me off even further. And um, so I said, I want to see what they look like, you know? So I did some digging and um, I found two of the women. That ain't um, dusty asses. Let me see if we can blow this up a little taste since they got him plastered. Those are two of the women. I couldn't find the third one. Couldn't find the um, third one at all. But these are two of the women that put Mr. Peoples, our king, through hell. And what I was very happy to hear about was that he is doubling down and he is following through. And he, and he does have counsel. Now, something that pissed me off about this too as well. And we're going to get into this other video. So let's pop up over here. This joking popped up. Let's see. Let's get this right. I had it all set. I had it all set nice and good because I do not like commercials. Let's see if we can get past this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Union. Six, the troubling case dubbed Gardening While Black. An African-American man who's an urban farmer ended up on trial over the allegations of three white women angered by his work on a community garden. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us what happened and how it played out in court. Mark Peoples went on trial this week on three counts of misdemeanor stalking. And by the time it was over, the judge had harsh words for the three women who claimed to be the victims. These women you know, clearly were lying, you know what I mean? Clearly they were lying. They complain, saying that you have threatened them in the past. Mark Peoples says for months, three women who are white repeatedly called Detroit police on him for working on a garden in an old park on the city's east side, falsely accusing him of being a pedophile and having a gun. And when he painted trees red, black, and green, colors of the Pan-African flag, he was accused of being in a gang. None of this was true. None of it is true. You know, it wasn't a, a mistake. It wasn't, uh, these, this was purposely done to try to destroy my life. People's attorney Robert Burton Harris says this was a case of Gardening Wild Black, where you have people calling the police on, on mostly African Americans for doing very mundane things. You think she moved into this neighborhood to be called a racist? This man is a friend of one of the three women whose complaints ultimately landed Peoples in handcuffs, charged with three counts of misdemeanor stalking. So you got to cuff me and all that? They were willing to call me a pedophile. They were willing to call me a gang-banging, gun-toting racist, you know what I mean? And I was doing anything but planting the seed, you know, to try to help my community grow. Hey. The part about him coming out and farming and teaching kids how to farm, it's fantastic. Oh my God, you know, please do more of that, you know. But at the same time, you can't get done digging a hole over here and teaching kids how to do it and then walk over and say, I'm going to burn your house down and run you out of here because you're white. But when Peoples went on trial this week, 36th District Court Judge Elanese Bryant acquitted Peoples, siding with the urban farmer in a directed verdict. And she believes this was a case very much about race. It was clearly, in my opinion, that these ladies had engaged in not only harassment of Mr. Peoples, but illegal conduct towards Mr. Peoples. They just strictly thought that their uh, so-called white privilege was going to work this time, and it did. Mark Peoples and his attorney say they now plan to file a civil lawsuit against the three women for, at the very least, defamation. In downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim. They ruined this dude's life. They literally ruined this dude's life. Um, cost him a lot of money with their antics, with their antics. And let me go back over, let me see here. These are two of the chicks. Couldn't find the other one, like I said before. Now, the thing that pisses me off, because I listened real intently and read the article too, to Lisa's um, video, is that the cops knew it was bullshit. But they still 
They still waste taxpayers' money for frivolous shit. And they was repeatedly called. They know how they own get down. But see, they'll play these games and take it all the way to court. And thank goodness it was a sister there that seems to be fair and balanced. And you can smell fuckery all the way through. Because it ain't on the judge. You know, the judge don't know what's going to come before the judge. You know, them cases come in and out. They don't know. But there was other players. And uh, the DA, greasy than a motherfucker to even put that, to even consider that. Knowing it was um, blatant racism. But they still give their own a chance to do greasy shit. And what they were saying was that they had tangible evidence that would exonerate them that this man had been doing all these different things that they said he was doing in the neighborhood see what i have came to the conclusion my royal family since all this drama been popping off with these rash of phone calls it really showed um exposed exposed that's the word it exposed the true nature of the enemy because they'll say you know we don't do shit we don't clean up the neighborhood we ain't interested in gardening you know we just shiftless and lazy now one of our royal sons this summer little young man started his own little um um gardening business doing lawn business that's what it was that's what it was even hired some kids in the neighborhood they call the police on them. You see how they folks get down? When they seeing you, you're doing the right thing. No, it don't matter what you do. You could literally, I had a, I, I found a meme two years ago where it's a sister on a table giving birth and the cop is shooting the baby as he coming out and it's a male child birthing while black. So it exposed the core nature of the enemy that it don't matter what you do you can be in your own house in your drawers chilling watching tv and one of them can get a wild motherfucking hair up they greasy ass and say you know what i'm feeling some kind of way i'm gonna blast me one i'll just come up with a cockamamie story because i'm feeling some kind of way and to even consider, even consider to put him through this bogus shit. They knew it was shit. See, we need to get caught with these motherfuckers. And I'm glad that Amber Geiger in Dallas made it possible that the Dallas police didn't get a fucking raise. Because the people that was on the board was like, how are we going to give y'all a raise and y'all out here blowing people's brains out? See, they forget who they serving. But we know the true history of the police force. Slave catchers. You know? You know, they had to make jobs for poor white trash. Oh, we're going to keep it real core. I'm going to make you feel some kind of way when I get done with you. Because I know the enemy love listening to core ass truth i hope i'm touching your sweet spot sick of these motherfuckers to put our king through this and i'm gonna tell you something my royal family i don't care how mundane it is any opportunity that you can stick it to the enemy go full throttle full throttle i don't care what gesture they make do what they do follow suit because trust and believe if they have an opportunity on the most frivolous thing to dra uh, drag us before the judicial system oh trust and believe they gonna do it they gonna do it so we gotta think like the enemy we really need to study the enemy and the nature of the enemy and how the enemy get down and be relentless if you feel weak or feel some kind of way, email me. I'll leave it.
if you're dealing with them, with them, talk to me or talk to somebody to know that's not going to sway your thinking to be easy on the enemy. Double down. This is a war. That's sad. You know, got this article in here, my royal family. This brother doing some good positive things growing food we got these old nasty ass gmos and stuff and it teaches our children something that we need to be knowing it's a lot of folks don't even know how to grow their own food positive see when they see us doing positive like light bearer said i learned something from light bearer she said that's evil to the enemy that's evil when we doing positive that's evil and they feel some kind of way so they utilize the system for they fuckery. That's all the enemy know is fuckery. So my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.